Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is a get ready with me for the makeup I'm wearing right now. I am going to my son's athletic award banquet and so I filmed this makeup so I guess it's like a mom's night out makeup or a kid function makeup or a daytime glam makeup whatever you want to do with it but this is kind of a go-to look for me if I'm going to do something is to define the crease and then put like a light shadow on the eye to make my eyes pop a little bit more make me look more awake and I did use the new Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. So if you would like to see this product in action and how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. I'm starting by priming my face with the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. It's the summer now, so I busted it out of the drawer. And then I'm filling in the wrinkles on my forehead with the Amazing Cosmetics Line Filler and the pores on my cheeks and chin with the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Pretty standard procedure for me for priming. And then I am priming my under eyes with the Smashbox Under Eye Primer. I really like this stuff. I like the little tint of color it has and it's really hydrating, which I need all the time. And then I'm priming my eyelids with the Benefit Stay Don't Stray and I'm using this crown brush to spread it out into a nice even layer from the eyebrow all the way to the lash line and patting it in with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with the new Urban Decay One and Done uh, Complexion Shield, I think it's Perfector, I think it's called. It has a very long name, but I have used this product quite a few times. I actually got a sample from Sephora because I wasn't sure if I wanted it, and then I loved it so much so I went and bought it. This is the shade Medium Deep. And if I get any paler, it will definitely be a little bit too dark. I think the shade medium for the color I am right now would be perfect, but um, they were sold out. So I just need to put some self-tanner on. Anyway, I really, really, really love this product. It has such a beautiful, natural skin finish, and it just sinks into your skin, and it does not even look like you have foundation on. And it has amazing staying power. I really love it. And then I'm going to color correct using the Tarte CC color corrector. And this is a new It Cosmetics um, kind of airbrush concealer brush that I got the other day. And I'm just buffing out the edges and then patting it in with my finger. And then this is a new product, the NYX um, Highlight Contour Duo. So I'm using this as the concealer and the Sigma um, large concealer brush to kind of put the product where I want it to go in the typical spots in the um, upside down triangle. Cupid's bow, chin, um, up on my forehead, and then I'm blending it all in with the Beauty Blender. And then I realized I forgot to put it on my nose, but then I go back to blending. And I really liked this product too. I really like the highlighter side, this side that I'm using right now, the contour side. I'm not quite sure about the color, but I need to use it a couple more times before I make a decision. This was the first time I used it and I haven't used it since, but this is it. And I blended it in, but my camera died, so I didn't get the footage of me blending it in. But I blended it in with a little stippling brush, and I think it got a little bit messy, so I'm going to try it again with a beauty blender. So I'm using the NARS Stephen Klein palette, and I'm going in with this highlight shade and my little Japanese brush to set my under eye concealer and also the um, Benefit Stay Don't Stray on my eyelids. And then I'll put it all the places where I put the highlight concealing product. And then I'm using the Guerlain Powder Foundation just to get a little bit more coverage out of this look. I really like this powder foundation, but I wouldn't recommend buying it. It's just so expensive. I don't think it's like so special. And the day that I filmed this, I actually got my hair colored and she colored my eyebrows, which I've never done that before. And so I was just trying out using just a clear eyebrow gel without um, filling them in. So that's why I only showed you that part because that's all I did. So then I'm using the Laguna uh, bronzer out of the palette and putting it up on the forehead and the cheeks and the chin and the neck and then I'm going in with the contour shade out of the palette and I'm just going to put a little bit up on the forehead and then contour the cheeks and then putting this peachy blush I just love peachy blushes I seem to use them all the time but they are my favorite and I really like the one that is in this palette and then since I'm going to a school event, I didn't want to get crazy with the highlighter, so I'm using this Hourglass highlighter. I think it's really, really pretty, and it's just more natural. And then, of course, I'm blending it all out with my stippling brush, 
And then I thought I would carve out my cheekbones because I thought the um, NYX product got a little messy. So I'm just doing that with the Kat Von D banana shade and setting everything with the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray because there was going to be food trucks and I was going to have to be outside before the actual presentations. This is the Anastasia Fresh Eyeshadow. And I'm just using that to even out the skin tone of my eyelid and underneath my eyes. And then I'm going in with the first shade here, the Salted Caramel shade in this Sigma E35 brush. And I'm just buffing this into the crease per usual using the windshield wiper motions and the small circular motions so that the deepest shade is in the crease and it fades as you go up towards the brow. And then I'm using the Semi Sweet shade and the MAC 217 to further define the crease, being sure to not cover up the color that we just put down. So you want to be able to see both colors. So I like the MAC 217 or the Sigma E25 are both great for this because they are more tapered. And then I'm using the white chocolate shade and I'm going to put that all over the lid. First using the MAC 239 brush just to kind of get some color down. And then I like to go back in with the MAC 242 so I can get a more precise line. It's not gonna give you like a cut crease look but it just really cleans it up and I really like that. And then I'm putting it underneath my eyebrows. And then this is the first shade that we put down. I'm putting that down with the Morphe M138 brush. It's just a big fat pencil brush. And then using the Sigma E30 with the Semi Sweet shade. And then I'm going to line my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. This is probably my favorite eye pencil of all time. Just the formula of these eye pencils, they just go on so easily. So whenever I'm in a hurry, I always reach for these pencils and I like to define the inner corner here. So I'm sh making sure to show you that. And then I'm using the Dior Show Blackout Mascara. This is a Dior mascara that has the smaller wand and I do like this one better. The other one is just so fat. So I'm just putting that on my top and bottom lashes and I won't be using any false lashes today because it's a school event. And then I'm using the Milani Lip Liner in this shade All Natural. And I was running out of time, so I forgot that I was filming, I think, because I got like all up in the camera. And then I'm using the Tarte Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Double Tap. I really like the formula of these. They feel really good on the lips. They're not drying. And this is the finished product. Off to the athletic banquet I go. So that is it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And all the information for all the products that I used is always in the description box, along with all the links to my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, and my Facebook. So be sure to check out the description box and leave me any comments below for any videos you would like to see me do. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So the small ones are from here to here. And so what I do is I cut off this excess plastic where the wax is not 